Hi, new families to Aurora Christian. This is Mrs. Johnson, principal of the preschool and the elementary programs. I am very excited that you will be starting with us this Wednesday, January 6th. For some of you, your kids haven't been in school since last spring, and so you are very excited for your kids to start just as we are. We have started school since the first day in August, and we are continuing to go strong. We are thankful to God for his provision and just providing us the safety and good health. I did want to answer some of the questions that you might have before coming on Tuesday and on Wednesday. Wednesday is our first day back at school. Start time is 8 a.m. But for some of you, you will be visiting on Tuesday the 5th between 9 and 3. I myself and some of my teachers will be here between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. so that we can answer any of your questions and also to walk you around because this is a pretty large school. But for right now, I did want to show you a couple of items that you will be receiving on Tuesday if you are able to come on Tuesday. If not, we will be providing those to you on Wednesday. Our office staff has done a wonderful job of preparing materials for all new families for when you come on Tuesday or when you receive them on Wednesday. Part of that package will be a Bible for your child. If you have more than one child here, you'll be receiving more than one Bible. And then there'll be an envelope. Remember, this is for preschool through elementary school. You'll be receiving an envelope with information that was shared with the families in August. You'll be receiving a nameplate that goes on your vehicle for pickup after school every day. And then we have also pickup slips in a COVID form that will need to be filled out. That is part of the welcome packet that you will be receiving on Tuesday. Hi family, so let's talk about drop off in the morning. Drop off door is door 11 for all students only. Any parents or volunteers that are coming in for the day, you have to enter through door number two. But door 11 is off of Bowman Drive and Sullivan and that's where you will come in with your vehicle. There is usually a line of cars that is here. You will just follow the line of cars up this drive up and then they will all stop. Once they stop, your child can get out of the vehicle, walk to the sidewalk, and then walk in through door 11. And as you can see, right behind me is door 11. Students will go through the screening process at door 11. We will have staff members there ready with their thermometers, and we will be asking questions such as any sore throat, headache, body aches, etc. okay? If the child says yes, more than likely you might receive a phone call home just so that we can verify what's going on. The other option is for, especially for our elementary families, you can park back here in this parking lot area and you could walk your child across the walkway here up the stairs. But unfortunately, parents, this door here, this is where you stop, all right? On Wednesday, when you come, we will have the admissions office and myself here ready to welcome all of our new students and to help walk them to their classroom. They will not be afraid. We will also have some of our own kids here ready to help your child make it to class that morning. All right, families, now let's talk about my littles, the preschoolers. If you have a preschooler, okay, there's that entrance to the parking lot for drop off in the morning. That's Bowman Drive. Our preschool families usually park in this small circle here and you have to walk your child to the door. This is the one big difference between our elementary, middle school and high school families compared to our preschool students. Preschool families, you have someone, an adult, needs to walk the preschooler to the door, to door seven. And when I turn around here, here's door seven, okay, where this blue canopy is at. Same thing, you will walk them to the door. Mrs. Zilke or Mrs. Vizcaya will be there waiting for them. They will go through the screening process with your child and then answer any questions and kids are off for the day, all right? Now let's talk about extended care. Extended care is a service that families can use before school or after school for those families who need that extra time because of work schedules. Extended care starts at 6.30 in the morning and students can be dropped off here at door 30. Door 30 is a cross from our football field. So families will come in through the drive, just do a turnabout here and then park at the end of the sidewalk and then their child can come up to door 30 and the extended care worker will help them there. This is also for our middle school and high schoolers. If they're coming in at 6.30 in the morning, they have to come in through door 30. High school and middle school can start entering door 11 at 7 a.m. Elementary 
school can start entering door 11 at 730. So if you need to drop off your child before 730, it has to be at door 30, our extended care door. One more procedure that I'd like to show you guys and talk about is our pickup after school. And once again, that information is on our website or it is in the packet that you will receive. But after school, our families will come in through Sullivan Road on Eagle Drive by the football field, come all the way down the drive, okay? There is a turnabout, you will see the cars, okay? There's a line of cars and we need to be patient through this process. And then families will line up along this sidewalk here. That sign that had your child's last name on it, that helps us and helps myself know who to call out when it is time for that pickup time. During this time, I do ask that you just be patient because we have a lot of students, a lot of cars. That means that's a long line. We will get through it quickly. All I ask is that once a car clears up, then you move your vehicle, drive forward, and then the rest of the cars can pile in. We can usually get about seven to eight students into the vehicles at one time if everyone follows the procedures correctly. We look forward to seeing you on Wednesday or maybe even Tuesday. It's a little cold out here and it's snowing, but one more thing, don't forget your mask. See you soon.